Happy Friday, everybody. Eric Rogers here with Scott Tash. We are at the 28th of October. That is not a misprint on your screen. Yesterday, we hit 100 degrees. However, we were so busy, everybody was inside in the air condition. And uh, folks, it's a dry heat, so you have good hair days, right? You had a good hair day? I have a great hair day. There. I got a no hair day going on the back side. <laughs> It's not uh, business in the front, party in the back. That's it. All right. So, uh, folks, today I've got uh, Cy Dietelhoff from Indiana is doing a great job. He's going to share a really nice story yesterday uh, about a merchant who he went in and, uh, man, there's some crazy things going on. And the merchant flat out said, I'm so glad you are here. Okay, how many times do you get somebody who goes, ah, get out, get out, get out, right? And then you're going to come across the guys like, thank you, they're so busy. It was a restaurant that they could not believe that uh, Cy walked through the door, regional account manager, and uh, we're going to get that restaurant. So he's going to tell that story, but uh, first and foremost, I think you have a birthday. Well, I got you have a couple, couple of them. I, uh, Cindy, and I always put your last name, Hasbor. Hasbjör. Yes, it's yep. Norwegian. Yep. And uh, she's celebrating a birthday. She is an awesome person and has quite a few good things going in, in the pipeline right at the moment. Uh, also, I want to say a very special happy birthday to my brother. It's his 70th birthday. Yeah. And uh, he's a retired uh, commander off SEAL team and uh, has served our country well. Yes, congrats. And, and Gary Thrine, I know we've got some other ex uh, military. Regional account managers there. I understand wearing red for Friday is a, a tribute there. Uh, we are doing uh, filming today. We're going to be in the studio and we're going to have some new videos for you guys uh, about high risk verticals or industries. Okay, so we're going to outline some of these that we can get done for you as well. So uh, uh, I didn't get the casual Friday day. I actually have to suit up today. So uh, which is fine because I'm inside in the air. because he doesn't know he's washing the week. Don't, yeah, exa don't, exactly. Don't even, don't. <laughs> exactly. I'm I got to pick on you all the time. I'm a guy. I know. I love it. So, uh, also, let's go ahead and get to the um, bonus. I just, you know, we're going to, you can see us. We, we adjusted the webcam. You're going to be able to see some names behind us. Uh, we had to wait for the weekend because uh, you guys are loading us up. All right. So, we do have some promotions, though. Uh, we still have not had anybody submit five um, proposal requests. Okay, that includes the six key questions in merchant statements. We need it's first one to five. That's fifty bucks. So any of you can get that through a Monday, which is Halloween. Now, uh, what we'd also like to remind everyone: if you're in underwriting with uh, deals, thank you so much for getting bank statements. You know, uh, Kurt McMahon, we needed one page of a bank statement and he had that within 30 minutes, okay? A lot of that has to do with the accessibility of your merchant, uh, the owner of the business. And the relationship that you've got and with them. You're darn right, because if they like you, they'll stop what they're doing and get one page for you, etc. cetera, um, if, if they can, et cetera, et cetera. He always calls me out on that, et cetera is not a word. Folks. Et cetera is a, <laughs> going to be a headache with that et word. Et cetera, yes, so uh, thank you very much. So uh, what we want to do is uh, just, you know, we're going to have another promotion in November. Don't, don't get us wrong, but help finish this thing off with us this month. And um, so what we want to do is to get to just a few of these. And I think you actually had a nice scenario that we mentioned on a previous webinar, but I'd like for you to lead with that where the gentleman did not want to give up his merchant statements. Oh, and it's kind of overcoming an objection, but this is something positive that I want to push today on Testimonial Friday. He was hell-bent on the fact that he's, everybody in the world has always come to him and told him the same thing, give me a statement, I'll beat the rate, blah, blah, blah. And he looked at me and he says, I have an effective rate of 2.1. If you can show me a, a client that's got, that in my industry, that's that does similar volume with a similar amount of swipes that you have less than 2.1, which I don't think you can do, then I will get you my statements. Lo and behold, it took me about four minutes, uh, mm -hmm. thanks to Gabe, Gabe Asor, Asor. Yep. who's our, uh, one of our national sales directors. He's got a restaurant out there that we had an effective rate of 1.93 on $160,000 volume a month. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, guess who's got his merchant statements now? Yep. Hey, 
Yep. But, and, uh, you know, trust me, he pit me with everything. I not only covered the six questions, we covered 12 extras too. Uh, yeah. Because he was skeptical, he just did not want to give anything up because he had been he had been lied to. Yeah, I was going to say, why he was he been, skeptical? It he wasn't had, you. He had yeah. he had a he had a flat rate of two point five percent. Guy came in, told him you could get it better. Well, he didn't tell him. He didn't explain things properly. See, you're you're only lied to if you don't understand what the the answer to the question is. He got an effective rate lower than 2.5, but it varied all the time because nobody told him that interchange varies according to the cards. That's something he had to learn. But see, he was bent out of shape because the guy told him, you know, that he was going to have a lower rate. And one time it was lower than the 2.5, but one time it went higher than the 2.5. His average has been lower, but man, as soon as it went higher than the 2.5, you lied to me. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was that. So we had to have a interesting discussion on you know the types of cards that are taken mm -hmm. and all that, um, and you know and what, me, what the me, effective rate is yeah, and versus let me, the other. I mean, yeah, and let me interject uh, real quick, guys. If you're you're not clear on interchange in versus a one rate, we do uh, we did cover that on live training on your training works uh, site Tuesday. So if you have not viewed this, this will be a nice thing to do while the kids are asking for candy this weekend. You can go ahead right in here. It's 30 minutes, and we cover this. We really hit it hard in the second half of this presentation, too. Watch the recording so you can understand, hey, and explain it correctly. And also, get your national sales director involved with this when you go in and talk to the merchant uh, initially. So everything's everything's outlaid, just like we like it. Very tr all transparency. This is what where we differ. Yeah, we better mention the other birthdays too. Oh, did you? No, did I, didn't, I didn't get Robert. You didn't get Robert Clemens no, no, Robert. and Michelle. No, I just mentioned Cresna. You do. You got. Oh, okay. Too. Yeah, Michelle. There we go. Happy birthday, Robert Clemens, Michelle Cresna. These are regional account managers out there, and uh, you made it. It's a, it, you leveled up. You know how the kids play the video games. That's the way it should be. It's not that you're getting old and that's a bad thing. It's we're leveling up. We're getting better, wiser. We know more. Well, right? you know, those people that I thought were much older than me are getting much closer now that I'm getting older. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, I'm sorry to cut you off. I just wanted to mention, guys, if you, you want to sharpen your skills on Interchange, check out Tuesday's recording. Make sure you're getting in there. You can go to merchantcareers.com. It's one go to of the most live training. conversations you're ever going to have with somebody when it comes mm -hmm. to to telling them how we do business differently than everybody else does. So you need to understand that forwards and backwards. You got it. Now let me check and see if Cy has made it on today. Cy, now in Cy's defense, he told me he had a merchant uh, appointment and that it would be very close for him to uh, get near a computer to be able to do this. However, uh, I'm going to, speaking of the military, we're going to go ahead and unmute Gary Thrine. Gary, just had a very good week uh, starting Wednesday, I believe, right, Gary? Go ahead and share your experience. Are you there? Yes, sir, I am. Uh, you may hear the puppy in the background, uh, so uh, I apologize for that. Uh, she's not happy about being outside right now. But anyway, <laughs> of course uh, not. Uh, let me uh, uh, follow up on what Eric was saying about Tuesday's uh, interchange training. Uh, prime example, and he, and he used the example on Tuesday's training. Uh, about interchange because I have an accountant that uh, has is the accountant for a restaurant that I'm working on getting and uh, the owner of the restaurant also is the uh, owner of a uh, uh, medical center here in town and uh, the accountant was confused about the interchange stuff uh, I have sent him the link to Tuesday's training and uh, been uh, trying to get an answer back from him if he's had a chance to watch it but uh, it, that did a great job of explaining everything and uh, put everything in perspective for him. So, uh, and I've also been working, as Eric knows, on uh, three different uh, community banks uh, here in, in Roswell. And uh, he, at first, the accountant was very reluctant to uh, even consider giving me a statement for the restaurant. But uh, he, he liked my tenacity that I, I tell everybody to use and uh, he appreciated my my knowledge and my drive to help his clients save money so he is willing to give me a statement now for the restaurant and we get them up and running then uh, we'll work on the uh, medical center 
but uh, he also also said that uh, he would personally contact his contacts at those three community banks and tell them that they would do well to have me lead their team on their uh, out processing for their merchant uh, processing for their banks and so uh, and one of those banks of those three uh, does about a billion dollars a year in business I don't know how much of that is merchant processing but I'm really stoked about that uh, I've also been uh, as as uh, Eric has told you I go to the Chamber of Commerce after hour events and network and uh, one of the events uh, we had uh, about a month ago uh, was at uh, one of the uh, major restaurants here in town and uh, one and a gentleman came up to me and and he was asking me if I would tried the food and, and I said yes I said I love this restaurant it's it's always got great food uh, we have our office parties for my my wife's uh, clinic that she works in uh, they we come in and, and have your, uh, our luncheons here and uh, we also like your your other restaurants and he goes well tell me what you like about your restaurants and I started going through because he's got uh, I thought only nine locations but he actually I just found out today when I got the statement 14 locations uh, doing uh, a little over uh, two million dollars a month well their their October statement that they just got on the 10th of October showed they did uh, two little over two million dollars over the 14 locations in the month of September uh, I, once I get my key questions answered uh, by his lady uh, I will be submitting that statement today uh, I wanted to ask Eric, uh, does that 14 location statement count for the five statements? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah if you get in, yeah, so you I've get got, those I've in, got, buddy. I got 50, five statements yeah. now. <laughs> we have fifty dollars for you. Yes, All right, sir. Great. Also, Guys, uh, yeah, everybody yeah. else, I challenge you to do the same thing. But yep. uh, uh, moving right along, I had no idea how much volume these people did. Um, they're really excited. I want to uh, get them uh, into the uh, in-store uh, people to let them uh, uh, talk the uh, in-store program to them, and hopefully we can get that. Uh, if they do, uh, uh, like I said, I haven't got my six quick key questions answered yet, so I don't know if they use QuickBooks. But if they do, then I'm going to uh, introduce them to uh, Instant Accept, so that they can, uh, you know, have their their transactions go straight into their uh, QuickBooks for. That uh, you know, extra twenty-five dollars a month uh, fee that Instant Accept charges, but um, really an, ex an exciting week. It's uh, uh, he told me the the gentleman that I found out later on uh, he was the owner of the restaurants as we're talking, and uh, he told me I had told him that I had approached his lady that uh, controls his merchant processing, and he said, "Sounds great. Go ahead and call her tomorrow." let her know that you and I have spoken she will validate that with me and I will confirm that we have spoken and for her to get back with you and, and get you what you need so I did that uh, they were going through their uh, um, end of the quarter um, inventories and everything so I had to wait a week for to get in to talk to her to get you know explain everything and but it's you know the patience has paid off. I've I've kept in constant contact with her. Called her. Uh, we were supposed to have an appointment yesterday, and uh, I called her on Wednesday to confirm my appointment. That's one thing. Always confirm your appointments a day ahead of time. That way you don't show up, and they say, "Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to tell you. You know, we can't talk today. I'm I'm too swamped." Have mm -hmm. your pipeline full. Keep your pipeline full. But follow up the day before for your next day's appointments and make sure that hey, you're, you're still on track for that appointment to happen. That, that's just a courtesy you give to your merchants just to verify because you know things happen and they get busy and you re want to respect their time and have them respect your time as well. So um, that's Eric that's what I'm all pumped up about the accountant getting him converted on the uh, interchange yeah. and uh, I'm going to get all kinds of his wife has a shop up in Albuquerque. He, he told me, he goes, uh, we need to have you taking care of my wife's shop in Albuquerque. Because he asked me, he goes, can you do uh, processing in Albuquerque? And I said, you know what? As far as I know, I'm the only one in New Mexico uh, with the First Direct Financial. So uh, not only am I the regional account manager, but I guess you could call me the state account manager if you want. And uh, yes, I can do business anywhere in the state of New Mexico. I can do 
I can do business anywhere that anybody is serving, you know, processing credit and debit cards. So uh, anybody yep. you know, I will accept all referrals from you. And he goes, well, I will do you one better. I will contact my contacts at those three community banks and tell them they would do well to have you and your company representing them for their processing, merchant processing. So I'm really yeah. stoked there. You know that. <laughs> I know it. I know it. And guys, guess what? Gary doesn't make excuses. Does he have a bad day here and there? Oh, yeah, I hear it. I hear it. And guess what? That's why the NSD is there. You know, if, if, never feel like you're alone, and that's what I we preach here as a team. Uh, and unify, unify that message is the fact that listen, we're here. Uh, you know, yesterday we want you to send emails to your national sales directors. And Gary, I'll go ahead and mute you so you can let the hound dog in. And, um, and I can guarantee you that we are never alone with you because there's three of you. Yeah, exactly. You, the right bicep and the left. <laughs> yeah, my my biceps are about as big as this guy right now that you see on the screen. So <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you you know, like I said, mighty, you can be mighty. You heard Gary you don't mention have to be a superhero to be a superhero. Yeah, you don't need a, a master's or your doctorate to make money in this business. You will make money. Um, and uh, guys, this master's is master's in tenacity is always good. A master's in tenacity. Yeah, guys, show up until be they the tell you no. Of tenacity. And uh, no matter how you know good you think you are in sales, et cetera, uh, you always lose out to a team. Michael Jordan needed a team. He needed you know some good players around him to win it. He couldn't win early. He couldn't beat Bird. He couldn't beat those guys. Yeah, I like the Bob Marley quote. You know, some yeah. people get out there and feel the rain. Others just get wet. Yeah, yeah. No, know? that's so exactly get out right. There and and embrace this thing. Yeah, and dig into it. Uh, Gary has done a wonderful job of getting in and learning the 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 the, the verbiages, the the mm -hmm. tools, the trade, to be able to go in and talk to bankers and be that go-to guy. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and he didn't know anything about this when he first started. Not mm -hmm. a thing. Not a thing. And guys, Gary closed a, a couple deals by going to resources and taking the time. Now that we have it posted and watching the virtual terminal. This is a, a tool that all of your merchants receive when they start with us. So make sure you're checking these out right here. Card Connect, Card Point Videos. And then what you do is you just click there. Let's clean up that screen and make this a little larger. Guys, these are little videos that you can send to a merchant and train yourself, obviously. So this is something where how to run a transaction, show them how easy this is. How about adding and removing users? The the one that uh, really sticks out for everybody here is creating billing plans. What if you went to a business and uh, I literally, uh, Penny, we just had a guy yesterday, he's like, I don't want any more business, small account, 5,000 and under, uh, but what if somebody came in and, and uh, he's an auto repair mechanic and somebody says, he, he tells them, listen, you need a $2,000 job and the person that he knows says, I can't afford it. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Pay me half now, half next month. He can set this up in his virtual terminal right now. So it's up to the, the merchant to do so. So uh, yeah, and just to clarify on the community banks, I think Bev had a question there. If there a lot of banks do not offer merchant processing, those are your prospects. The ones currently that have somebody set up are obviously not your prospects. So go, you know, that's something that, you know, it takes a long time to get set up. So as far as instant offense and you getting paid, you know, you can take, you know, take a little bit part of your day and maybe that's something that, hey, we talk to. Gary happened to run into these guys where? At a Chamber of Commerce event. So that's where you can take your time and work smart, not hard. Right, mm -hmm. get in front of business owners when they're not chasing you down. They're actually on the premises. They're there. So uh, Gary does a great job with that. Thank you very much. I'm still not seeing Cy uh, Dietelhoff. Yeah, and we do have a question. Let me go ahead and give you a question, uh, Suze. Uh, why do some merchants on website take PayPal? Right, it's not uh, PayPal is not their pal. I like that. Uh, is it international or what? So um, PayPal's also a processor. Correct. Yeah, they're a processor. They can actually use PayPal to it process Visa, Visa MasterCard, but it's pretty darn pricey towards the merchant. Uh, PayPal's a little more uh, aggressive on the vertical. We're going to get to some of that later. They're higher. They, they higher take risk. A higher risk. And yep. 
a lot of people use PayPal because that because they charge more their their requirements of who they take you know they'll take a brand new business coming on without much without much underwriting because they not only uh, you know charge more but then they put reserves on them mm -hmm. and so anytime yep. that they can protect themselves and, and take somebody when you don't have anybody and you have to have it PayPal is, becomes a source mm -hmm. the nice part about that is, is if you run into somebody that has PayPal that's been in business for any length of time they probably qualify for much better processing and much lower rates Mm -hmm. And PayPal is not going to go back to them and go, gee, let me lower your rate for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. they make a lot of money doing that. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Fact, so I uh, think they are the top money producing yeah. processor in the world yep. right now. Yep, They and, and International has a little something to do with that, Suze. You're absolutely correct. Uh, they're Them being very, very aggressive, uh, they get burnt. You know that's, oh, yeah. that's part of but it, but, but they <laughs> but they're aggressive. They charge everybody enough money they can afford those losses. Yeah. That's why they yeah. you know it's like insurance and insurance claims. Yeah, yeah. If they're they're making enough from everyone else. Uh, they'll cover those losses. Right. So um, yeah, and Gary Thrine, uh, can you give the folks the link to the instant accept videos? Yes, and and that is something that is a you know a lot of people since we're talking PayPal and some of our better known uh, competitors there uh, or is QuickBooks and it works with QuickBooks there is an additional Intuit fee to plug it processor. in yep Intuit QuickBooks kinda you know little little brother sister Intuit there yep and uh, what you do is there's a twenty five dollar setup fee twenty five dollars a month so we need to again you know this is a situation and I'm glad that we're bringing this up so we can go ahead and pull up these six key questions guys where is this it is now mandatory that we have this to go ahead and process a proposal. Okay, do the best you can. Contact your national sales director if you're having trouble getting a merchant to answer a lot of this. The number one thing on this is at the top of the page. We want that business information so we can go ahead and call. We know that uh, regional account managers and sales associates, some of you guys are doing this part time, you know, that's a good and a bad thing, right? That you have no quota, right? So, uh, at the same time, we can follow up on these really nice proposals where we're saving fifty, a hundred, two hundred dollars. The longer they hang out there and go stale, the less likelihood we have of closing them. Is the bottom line. So it's nice to have somebody else kind of following up on that. Now, now again, you know, don't take advantage of that because your NSDs are extremely busy. We wear an awful lot of hats. Uh, it's amazing that we even have a good hair day. That's why we're located in Phoenix with the dry heat. So uh, we do we do that. So uh, you do not take advantage of that. We're not here to do your work. You're not uh, you know your finder's fee is 50% residuals. Uh, your national sales director is going to kind of hey you need to do a little more of the work here too. So uh, that will come around. But guys, get this in here and. Uh, you know what type of terminal do you accept an Amex you know I've got we've got a great big car dealership um, that we've got a regional account manager working on and their actual uh, statements they've got a darn good rate 11 locations they're big we need the Amex statement guess what they still get their Amex statement sent separately Ooh, we're gonna be able to hop right in there right guys because we're an op blue provider let me go ahead and try to pull that out. There we go. And uh, guys, this is where we can save them money. And they've got 11 locations times $9 a month. That's the minimum that we're going to save them each and every month. And then guess what? They're going to get their money quicker. See, we're not talking rate. We're talking what the added benefit that you and Card Connect and First Direct Financial provides. And the other part of this is, you know, the bookkeeper. Are you kidding me? You've got 11 locations and you're tracking down 11 separate bills for your merchant statements. Now you've got one contact. See that at the bottom. So get those statements. And if you noticed, guys, that's on the six key questions. Those aren't there just so we're making you do extra work. As a matter of fact, this is going to speed up the process and get your uh, merchants in underwriting a heck of a lot faster. Yep. Correct? So a little bit of, and, and these things are, are interesting that they can be done in the conversation leading yeah. up to getting the yeah uh, the merchant statement you know it can be built in about EMB compliance you can you know what kind of security measures are being taken care of now have you been happy with them have you ever been hacked 
-hmm. know, when you are asking questions, two things happen. First off, it shows that you've got knowledge. The second off, it shows that you're also in control of the conversation, mm -hmm. which helps you get what you need out of them. Yep, this is a new one, guys. I pulled this off of uh, Card Connect's little uh, coffee break item, too. This is something. Retailers, a year, just one year ago, thought, all right, we got to take $2 out of every 100 Due to fraud? Fraud's up to eight. Here we are. So you don't think your $8 a month, uh, you know, again, that's eight, you know, what do you got, 8%, 2%? You don't think your 5% should make a difference? Extra 8% on top of what they're being charged. In other words, mm -hmm. you know, gee, you know, wouldn't it be nice if, if, you know, even if we are a little bit higher, if your, if your fraud charges go down, guess what happens? Mm -hmm. You save money overall. We are a business solution, not just a savings on the spot. We're going to save mm -hmm. it now, but because we've got better security measures in, they've got two patented algorithms for, mm -hmm. for tokenization yep. that uh, keep things secure and off-site so that they can't be hacked, and that saves the company business mm -hmm. and money. Yep. Yep. And yeah. headaches. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, so the thing with uh, uh, the Op Blue. Item, Bev, just go ahead and contact your national sales director. They'll get you that. We all have it uh, as being an OpBlue provider. Or if I'm in front of a merchant, I can uh, also, and I know you guys get tired of me saying this, and uh, uh, we're going to make fun of my age right now, but uh, I will Google OpBlue. I've done this in front of a merchant where I Googled OpBlue provider and said, here's, here's what we do right on my tablet. You don't get your statements together. That's nine dollars right there. Two. This is the added benefits that you can get by being uh, an Op Blue provider. So uh, we and we can save them money because believe it or not, guys, they pile on top of the American Express what we would consider an interchange cost. Uh, American Express typically costs more, and the merchant providers know this. So when a merchant sees all oh, my Amex is out of control, they're not questioning the rate that they piled on top of that interchange cost. So we can save them money there as well. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, uh, but Bev, make sure you're doing that. Now instant accept is something completely different. It's an additional cost. It allows the merchant to keep their QuickBook POS system, but use us as the processor. Okay, so Suze, that's, that's what that refers to. Um, yeah, exactly. So. Uh, and Gary has an example here of somebody that paid uh, 35000 on $2 million last year just in fees. What if you can save some of that money? When you're talking numbers like that, guys, you're talking now I can hire or save a job of an, a full employee or two, you know, and then you hit the hot spot in the cause because money's down the list. Money's number three, right? Cause family number one and two. So you want to make sure that you're doing that and get this across. You're not out there hustling like those old merchant uh, the folks that hit the street. I don't even know what to call them. But uh, you know, this is a long-term uh, relationship that you're building with them because you know Gary Thrine does a really nice job. You guys all have access to these as well. Low price guarantee. Gary went in and bought a frame. So these are customers that you set and you you get them going. Don't forget about them. You know, maybe maybe a holiday card, right? A Christmas card, maybe uh, something along Fourth of July. Uh, but Gary does a really good job with this. And guys, he puts his number on there. He's like, listen, if some Joe schmo comes in behind me, you know, it's not necessarily a race to the bottom either, because you're going to find and you all have come across somebody that goes, nope, I like my processor. Do you know why they say that? Because they like their process. They like the they like the service. There's added benefit. Price is not number one with those guys. No services and no and mm -hmm. service is usually better than price. Mm -hmm. If I tell you what, think of it this way: Would you rather go to a restaurant that's got good food and great service, or somebody that's got great food and bad service? <laughs> no soup for you. Yes. And, you know, I mean, the best food in the yeah. world doesn't mean the experience is that good. Yep. Yep. So do not have short-term thinking, folks. This is something. That uh, is, is it, are you going to be making 5000 in one month? You could if you find the right accounts, but you can build that way. You can build your business. You are an entrepreneur. You can build your business so that five grand's coming each and every month, regardless of your monthly production. Yep, yep. 
you know so uh, instant gratification we've got the sales bonus are we gonna have another one sure we are probably through the holidays it's gonna be hard to get to because of the merchants and, and their time uh, and what's going on that time of the year however people will make money you darn right there are a lot of ways for you to still a lot do of businesses business. that don't have the holiday rush mm -hmm. only the retail ones there's the secondary ones that don't have the holiday rush are the education businesses and those mm -hmm. that that where their services aren't in mm -hmm. as great a demand because of the holiday seasons, they're always looking for building up their business and doing things. So there's a huge market out there. Mm -hmm. And I still don't see Cy, so we're going to wrap this up with his story from yesterday. So Cy goes to lunch at a restaurant that's in his area and uh, does his thing. You know, called the guy. You know, had his at his meal. Asked the waitress. You know, who's the owner? I'd really like to tell him I had this is the best sandwich I've had in forever. Here comes the merchant, right? Uh, the owner, the merchant owner, and uh, he said, you know, can, you know, gives him a compliment first. Then he says, you know, by the way, I do, and this is while he's got his tab, right? He goes, I do this. I'm actually a local guy. Mentioned a couple businesses, so this is sales 101. Do you know Mr. Jones down the street? Do you know Mr. Smith down the other side of the street? He mentioned business owners that use him. And the merchant could not believe it. He goes, you know, and here's Cy, you know, you get kicked out of a few of these, or the guy's like, oh, it's some excuse. The guy's like, thank God you're here. He goes, we are having a problem. We've reported this. They're overcharging. My customers are getting an additional charge after the tip fact, and it has to do with the setting. Uh, not to get into the details because we don't have them all yet, uh, but the guy's like, I need to change right now and here he is so guys every time you know you get the no right they, they teach it in sales there's 101 a yes there's a yes somewhere and it does happen so Cy I know you're at an appointment right now and we had him lined up Gary Thrine thank you so much for uh, picking us up today because I know you had a great end of your week too he had some uh, things he's been working on and guys he didn't stop where did he meet him what's the secret what's the secret to our regional account they're out there they're doing it. They have this attitude that uh, Lori has right here. Hey, you're, you're going to build your own dreams here. We've got the vehicle. This company, First Direct Financial, the way we've got this thing set up, it's, it's perfect for you uh, to get out there. And again, you don't have to have your master's or doctorate to do this. The guys that are going to make the money are the ones that just get out there and everything they see business-wise that accepts Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and Amex, they should be on your book of business, right, at least a big percentage of those. And, guys, the money comes in right behind it. Help somebody first, and then your dreams come in right behind it, Napoleon Hill. So thank you again. Have a good weekend. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah, trick or treat. Uh, we'll see you Monday, which is obviously Halloween. I'm thinking uh, we're going to see how you everyone's dressed up. Am I spooky enough? Okay. I'm actually Bruce Campbell from uh, Ash and the Evil Dead. Uh, you know, um, Schwarzenegger this the chin. Year? The chin, no man, I'm too, that's too old for that. And uh, Scott Tash is going to be from The Price Is Right. Drew Carey. This looks way. Well. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, guys. Weekend, yes. Everybody. You have a good one. Thank you very much for your work this month. Okay.